Hello and welcome to another video of Calcare. So today I'm going to be showing you the second version of the two-player battle game because the first one actually had a memory leak, which I mentioned a little bit in the last video. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to fix that and huge shout out to biohazard bio underscore hazard 1282 underscore rpi3 I believe it is. And also a humongous shout out to Z underscore dude. He has been, they have been a great help in making this battle too. So I will post a, we had a conversation on TI Basic Developer. It's a two player battle game. If you're wondering, um, yeah, they have been a huge help in the making of this. So I will post, or I will have a link in the description um, so you can look at the whole conversation between us and learn some stuff, hopefully. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, the memory leak issue, I'm going to show you how to fix that first. So, if you don't want, or if you haven't made the first version of Battle, you can skip to later in the video. Or you can watch this because it has a little bit of useful information in case it happens to you in the future. Or you just want to learn something. So, the first thing we're going to do is going to go into second memory. Let's go to memory management slash delete. Go to all. Or you can go down to PRGM or program. But I like just going to all. Then, this little star stuff here, you must click enter. And it will put a star in front of it. You want to have a star in front of everything you want to keep. What it's doing is it's taking the RAM from this and putting it into ARC. See, if I unstore this, the RAM free will go down, and now it goes up, and the ARC will do the opposite. I have one more program down here, too. I have already stored most of these. And if, like, there's a list that you've been working on or something, you can also store lists if you'd like, but I don't really have a use for lists well i use them some but that's just in programs and it stores it in there anyways so i'm not going to do that and i'm going to go second quit program or whoops sorry not program second mem which is right here memory which is also the plus button sorry i didn't show that earlier then you're going to go into reset it seems kind of sad okay do not do all memory because that will clear all your stuff. What you're going to do is RAM, all me RAM. You're going to click enter. You're going to go to reset. And it says resetting RAM erases all data from our and programs from RAM. So what we did is we took our programs, put them from RAM into the ARC so they're safe. So we could reset. It'll say RAM cleared. And as long as you had your programs and they had the star in front of them, they will all be saved. Now, if you're going to try to go in and run one of them, it'll say archived. And then you can go go to. Okay, it won't let me do that. Never mind. Going to go second memory again. Going to go to, oh, not about. Second memory, memory management slash delete, all. And I'm going to unstore the program that I would like to use. You can unstore all of them if you'd like and then you'll have access to them. If you, this is also helpful if you're crunched on bytes, then you can store the program by clicking enter. And then you'll have the program for later use when you wanna bring it back out, you just click enter. And if you have like, let's say 200 bytes left, you can store this one, make another program that's 200 bytes, run that, then store that, and then run this one or whatever. So yeah, that's what I have. For that so I unstored the one that I need to use so I'm gonna go into it we're gonna run it so it's just like the battle program that I made except placing mines is much faster and moving is much faster and wrapping around the screen is very fast so it's the XT theta N button the apps button the program button the math button to move the I for imaginary number in case you're curious and alpha to place a mine the little uh, multiplication symbol that's moving all around is what that is then 
to move the pie, it's the arrow keys, the place of mine, it's the graph button. So that's the main operating of the game. The point of the game is not to run into one of the mines. So if you run into one of the mines, it'll say whoever and then wins, whoever actually won. So it'll say I wins or Pi wins in this case. So now we're gonna go in to edit it. So clear draw, clear home. Eight store into X, three store into Y, one store into Z, one store into R, one store into G, one store into H, eight store into A, five store into B and zero stored in decay. If you're crunched on bytes, you do not need the zero stored in decay if you don't want it. Then wall one, clear home. I'll put R comma Z, the mine. I'll put G comma H, another mine. Label theta. So it'll come back to this part um, later in the program. And then it'll keep running it. Then I'll put y comma x comma quote the i for imaginary number if you don't know where to find that. Second, and then the period right here has a little i. Then I'll put b comma a comma the little pi and get key store in decay. And these are piecewise expressions. I believe that's what they called. They they called, well, they are called. And um so you have y plus k equals 42 minus k equals 32. Store into y in case you don't know how to get the equals, just in case you don't. Second, test, which is the math button. And then there's the equal sign right there. And then it's the same thing for x, a, and b. I'm going to go slowly, so in case you have to pause the video to type this, which you probably will unless you're insanely, insanely good you'd probably be better than me. So you can pause the video right here if you need to see it. If you need to see the Y again, here it is. Okay, now I'm gonna keep going. So this is the part to wrap it around on the screen. Um, so if max, to get max, you go second catalog. This is the way I do it. I think it's also in math probably. Then you click M, which is right here. And then it's the second one down, max, with the little thing right there. Um, I think it's in math. Um, numbers. Yep, it's right here. Oops. Max. It's right there also, if you'd like to find it there. So I'm just going to do that. And this is the part to wrap it on the screen. So this fancy little bracket thing here, in case you don't know where to get that, I'm going to center this on the screen a little bit better. You go second and hit the parenthesis button. You can see it right there. And remember, because it's in yellow, you use the yellow button. If it's if you want something in blue, you use the blue button. I'm not going to talk about all this. There is uh, more stuff in the link in the description, so check that out. It's the conversation between uh, Z Dude and I. So yeah, if you'd like to see that. Then, and it talks more about that. And then, then we reach winning conditions. So if A, the position of, I believe this is the I, is equal to the um, X position of the mine, which is H, and B is equal to the G position of the mine, or the other mine is what that's basically saying, go to one. If X is equal to H and Y is a equal to G or X is equal to Z and Y is equal to R, then you go to two. If K is equal to 31, and then if you don't know where to get the colon, and this was also in my last video, it's alpha period. And then you have then, and this is the part where they place the mine. Then you have output R comma Z comma quote. And then this is very important, very, very important. Right here, this is not just a quote and then nothing. You click alpha and zero, which outputs a space. So basically what it's doing is clearing the spot where it was. Then it's picking a new spot to put it right here. And then it's placing it in that new spot. Oops, I just did that. Um, this was a uh, program over six. Output R comma Z comma, so you get to see me program, I guess. 
So, yeah, don't do what I just did, if you can help it. R comma Z, I can't find Z for some reason, comma, quote, and then that right there. So that's what that was. And then end. If K is equal to 15, then I'll put G comma H quote. And again, there's a space right there, so it deletes the old spot of the line. Then you have random integers storing into it. And then I'll put the actual line. And then two ends, label one. Clear home, I'll put four comma five comma I wins, return. And I learned to not use stop because that can actually cause issues in your program. So thank you for that. I believe that was Z dude who told me that. Um, yeah, I think so. So yeah, and then label two, clear home. And then I'll put four comma five comma pi wins, return. And that's the end of the program. So, if you uh, had the old battle program, I hope you got that fixed. If you did not, leave a uh, thing down in the comments. I can't talk right now for some reason. Um, so, and I will try to make another video or something if lots of people, or I can just make one just for that one person to watch. And I will post that on my YouTube channel. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the battle program works well for you. I hope you like and comment and share and subscribe. And I hope you have fun playing the battle game with a friend. Or by yourself. Whatever you'd like to do with it. So, thank you and goodbye.